Firstly, this is about the installation of decoder encoder. Step 1. Put the positioning jig and the magnetic ring in the motor. Use dedicated silicon gloves to avoid direct contact with the surface of the magnetic ring. Step 2. Use the standard screws to lock the 8 screw holes. Step 3. Use dial indicator to measure the error of surface runout. Fix the motor on the horizontal table and then rotate it 360 degrees at a uniform speed while observing the dial indicator value. The measured value is about 0.03 mm. The requirement for error is less than 0.05 mm, so the measurement result is within the tolerance. Step 4. Use dial indicator to measure the coaxiality error of magnetic ring surface. Rotate the motor 360 degrees at a uniform speed while observing the dial indicator value. The measured value is about 0.02 mm. The requirement for error is less than 0.05 mm, so the measurement result is within the tolerance. Step 5. Check whether the installation distance is appropriate by measuring the distance from magnetic ring surface to encoder mounting surface with steps indicator. Measure four positions and observe the values. The measurement results are within the tolerance, that is, 1.3 plus or minus 0.1 mm. Step 6. Put the red head on the motor and use the standard dowel pins for positioning. Step 7. Use three screws for pre-tightening and then fully tighten them one by one. Step 8. Remove the dowel pins. So far, the installation of ecoder encoder has been completed. Secondly, this is about the connection of the ecoder encoder. Step 1. The wiring of ecoder USB debugger. According to the pin definitions, connect the red wire to positive 5 volt pin the yellow wire to data plus pin, the green wire to data minus pin, and connect the black wire to ground pin. Note the multi-turn encoder needs to connect pin 7 and pin 8 in addition. Connect pin 7 to the positive electrode of the battery, and connect pin 8 to the negative electrode of the battery. Pin 7 and pin 8 have been connected well in advance. So far, the wiring of ecoder USB debugger has been completed. Step 2. Connect with PC software to do function test. Since we are testing a multi-turn encoder, we need to connect the debugger to the matched battery first. Connect the encoder cable to the encoder. Connect the USB wire of debugger to the computer. The status light of encoder is on. So far, the connection of encoder encoder has been completed. Thirdly, this is about the operation demonstration of PC software. Step 1. Open the installed PC software and click connect. Step 2. Click another connect button in the pop-up window. Step 3. Click status and the resolution, single turn and multi-turn of encoder are displayed. Step 4. Click setting. Due to it as a multi-turn encoder and the battery is used, click reset MT to reset first. We can see that the LED indicator is in always bright status. Step 5. Click calibration settings. Rotate the motor after the calibration oscilloscopic window pops up and then click the calibrate button. Keep rotating the motor while observing the green progress bar in the window until the bar is completed. When speed grade is 1, the speed of rotating motor is about half a turn per second. After the progress bar is completed, the calibration waveform will be displayed. When calibration succeeded tip pops up, proceed to the next step. Judge whether the error percentage of the waveform is less than plus or minus 90% by the upper left values in the window. Step 6. Click measure. Keep rotating the motor while observing the green progress bar in the window until the bar is completed. Measurement test pops up. Judge whether the error percentage of the waveform is less than plus or minus 90% by the upper left values in the window. So far, the operation demonstration of PC software has been completed.